Box wine, also known as bag in box wine, came up trumps in lockdown, with more than one in four people aged 25 to 34 buying them during this period, and sales skyrocketed by 300% at one particular supermarket. And while the initial reason may have been that it meant fewer trips to the shop, it seems that people have since realised that the wine can actually be pretty darn good, and there are plenty of other reasons to buy boxed wine too. With more and more brands available, many of them looking super swish and containing delicious premium wine, here are eight reasons to buy boxed wine in 2020, other than it's less embarrassing on recycling collection day. Boxed wine no longer means oxidised, vinegary wines thanks to the huge leap in quality with the technology, with many companies using special vacuum taps and collapsible bag inners to keep out oxygen properly. Oxygen, after all, is the killer of wine. Tip, if the tap looks like these, it's top of the range tech. Thanks to this technology, box wine once open can stay fresh for a month when stored upright and cool in the fridge, even the reds. Some even say six weeks, but really, who keeps it that long? There's no obligation to finish or waste the rest of the wine in an open bottle. So you can have that one glass a night, maybe with a splash to top it up, or two. Most box wines now come in 2.25 litre sizes, the equivalent of three bottles of wine. And given that the packaging for box wine is a lot cheaper to produce than single-use glass bottles, and the packaging works for three bottles worth of wine at a time, that value can be passed back to you. A recent study has shown that the CO2 produced during the manufacture, transportation and disposing of a single glass bottle of wine can be up to 10 times that amount the infinitely more recyclable bag-in-box wines. Producing box wines consumes around 80% less water than glass bottles too. Many companies are now also going a step further, making sure as much of their box wine packaging is as sustainably sourced and as recyclable as possible. You'll even see several box brands with environmental initiatives, such as the Bib Wine Company, who are planting a tree for every box sold. What's not to love about that? It's much easier to carry the equivalent amount of wine when it's in a box than when it's in a bottle. That picnic in the park when we're allowed to see other humans again, or dinner parties, or stocking up for Christmas. Imagine lugging three heavy clinky wine bottles around when you could just pick up a pretty box with a hand strap. It may not have been the case in the past when bagging box wine was known as hangover juice, but nowadays you'll find the same wines you'll find in bottles inside these boxes. The common misconception that it's inferior wine really needs to be rethought. Light strike is a phenomenon that's becoming a bit of a buzzword this year. Generally speaking, it refers to the negative effects sunlight can have on wine, where funky, stinky aromas and flavours are produced. It doesn't take long to happen either, which is why you should avoid bottle sitting in shop windows. Wine in glass bottles are obviously much more susceptible to this than boxed wine, which is protected by this natty little cardboard outer layer. Have I convinced you yet? Try some and let me know what you think. You can either check the article below or search for boxed wine on the three drinkers for some fantastic recommendations. Thanks for watching.